how's everyone doing as you know we ain't been at work well i ain't been at work all week this week so just been chilling out spending time with the family take my little girl for i'm going to pick her up in a bit actually because i give her back the other day so i'm gonna have her again um for tonight and all day tomorrow but obviously it's still gonna be too cold to lay anything this week so i've messaged um jake and told him that we'll be going in on Friday just to get the plot loaded. I've got a lot of cuts to do in between the beam filling, which is like where the joists sit. You've got your gaps in between, you have to fill in between the blocks. So I've got a lot of cuts to do. So I'll be doing the cuts while Jake will be getting loaded out with Amy. And then this way we'll have a nice good start for the Monday. But anyway, I just thought I'd do a little video on the main hand tools that I have in my bag which get used day to day every day without fail um, let's have a little look what the fuck's this prick wearing on his head right my tools go in so they just this is just um, boots and that set up here it's a bit untidy at the minute I did have a little bit of a tidy up before, before I opened the door um, me, then my sister, these are my sister's boots they can go away Amy's boots, sliders, got room for sliders. Right, anyway, let's have a little look. So we've got a, you can't get hold of these anymore. These are Draper block saws. Um, I've had this for about six, seven years. Still cuts through blocks like butter. We've got my trusty belt that I wear. So we've got the, we've got Stanley this is just a Stanley pouch with a holster on it, a couple of pouches in it. I really enjoy using this. It, it, I can, you know, if I'm, it's, it's when I'm doing stuff like, um, <clears throat> oh, go back in there. When I'm doing stuff like going over lintels and stuff and I need weak vents, you know, I can get a nice lump sum of leak, uh, weak vents in there. I can even get some types of wall ties in there. I can put my tape in here if I want. I tend to put my tape more on um, here though, because it's easier to slide it off than put it, keep putting it back in there. I've just got a normal hammer holster here. This is on a <laughs> last legs. And this is what everyone keeps asking me about. The trail mate, they don't sell them anymore. I think someone sent me a link to a website in america they still have them in stock um i was a little bit wary whether to order a load and get them over because i was going to make up some of these belts um and get them out to you lot but anyway that's the belt that i use <coughs> uh trowels obviously trowels can't do fuck all that trowel this is my spear and jackson trowel that I bought, uh, Tyzak even, Spear and Jackson, same thing. Um, it's because of this straight edge that I decided that I love the straight edge. So I actually cut a trowel down to, to suit what I think will be a good pick and dip trowel for myself. Um, as you can see, it's a lot wider at the bottom. Well, it's not a lot wider, but it is wider at the bottom. Um, but it sits a lot sh a lot shorter. So that's only about, I think that is nine and a half from there. From here to here is about nine and a half. From here to here is about six and a half. And from here to here is six and a half. Anyway, some trials. This is a WHS as well. Cut the brushes, got a block work brush. I've been using a face work brush at the minute. This is just a Bond horsehair. Um, they are very, very soft. Corner blocks, lines and pins. Can't go without lines and pins. I've just got a new reel. This is actually, um, this reel, this, this line is actually, uh, footprint line wrapped onto a spear and jackson reel because i don't like the the 
Um, where is that line actually? Haha, <laughs> I wonder where that was. <laughs> Found a little magnet, look. Um, it was, I was going to put it onto my belt, this magnet, and stick it on like that. But the only trouble with it is it's too fucking strong. <laughs> Can't get the fucker off when it goes on there. <laughs> that is on there. These are all spare box section I've got. I only use four at the minute. These are all spare. Don't use them. Uh, it's stuck on there. I can stay there. Right. Favourite new tools of the year and last year. The old Fitzbricks clamps. I can't go without them anymore. Um, just so versatile. I'm always using them. Uh, he got in touch with me the other day actually, he's back in stock, so I'll leave a link down below um, for anyone that wants to purchase a set. Um, great for setting out, great for a tingle, great for um, internal corners. You know, my favourite thing about these is, um, you know when you've got like your last few courses of block work, you know, and you're banging your pin and it cracks the corners, or even your brickwork cracks the corners. Um, just you don't have any trouble with these. Uh, I love them. Uh, you need to get yourself a set if you ain't already. Uh, what else we got in here? Just a sponge. I use it for brickwork. A lot of you know I use a sponge for brickwork. Um, but where it's been so cold, <laughs> the sponges have been freezing and breaking into bits. So that's why I've been using a brush for a while. <laughs> This is the hammer I use, the Holterfers. I think it's the, I can't remember the weight of it. I can't see on there, I can't see anywhere on there telling me the weight. I don't know the weight, sorry about that. But it's a Holterfers hammer, lovely hammer. I used to use the S-Wing. As you can see, I've got an S-Wing here, uh, lump hammer. Two and a half pound or three pound, I can't remember. Uh, I don't know why I've got this in here actually, I never use it. It's just a raker, breaking your joints out. Staple gun, comes in so, ha comes in so handy for um, stapling it down to your Cellcom block work, your, your damps. That just sits in here lovely. Couple of jointers. You've got your barrel joint R, which is, I just, you can't beat a barrel joint R, I don't think. Um, I haven't really used this one. This is uh, the um, Dinger, which I was quite hyped about at first, but the material seems to wear away very quickly. Looks good, feels good, but if they're gonna, if they want to sell more of these, they're going to have to upgrade the steel they're using or whatever it is they use, because it wears away well too quickly. <laughs> Don't know why I've got that. It's where, where I'm up so early in the morning. <laughs> Just have a little torch. Uh, I've always got Stanley blades on me. You can never have too many Stanley blades. Mask, electrical tape, pen, pencil, got always, always pen and pencils on you. Got your, uh, I've got a Spear and Jackson point and trowel, and this is uh, just a wire brush just to clean your tools with, which I ain't really been too good at recently. Uh, and obviously your bolster, 100 mil bolster. This is what I use day to day. And insulation knife. Cuts through insulation like butter, this does. But 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, tapes as well. Obviously, you need your tape, don't you? You can't do much without a tape. Yeah, that is like my day-to-day -day tools that I take over. Obviously, you got your levels as well, your profiles. There's a lot of tools we can uh, we use as well. Um, nowhere near as much as uh, other trades have got, but you can get by with a small handful of tools with bricklaying. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.